So the mineral spirits is what I use instead of turpentine because I have a, an allergy to turpentine. It gives me headaches. And I found out in uh, art school, in uh, class, when everybody was opening their fumes were everywhere. Anyway, I had to switch to mineral spirits. It doesn't seem to give me uh, any trouble though. I get the odorless kind. that I'm inspired by are um, uh, some of the old American Impressionists that you can see in uh, the National Gallery of Art. Uh, Bischoff and all of those guys. Uh, I guess you would include John Singer Sargent in there even though he kind of lived in Europe most of his career but he is an American so he's one I really like. And then, of course, some of the contemporary Richard Schmidt uh, is uh, everybody's favorite always, so he's one of my favorites too. I, I like the Impressionists because of the kind of the loose way they paint. It seems to be more fitting to for me. I'm a little looser. Living in Utah, doing this kind of thing, I keep a low profile. <laughs> Um, people ask me my name, I, I don't always tell them my last name, so I don't mind if they look me up and see what I do. I really haven't had much trouble with people, so, but I don't sell them here, I, and I don't, pretty much don't show the nudes here. Those are pretty much just for special shows that do the figure, like uh, Nude Night Orlando, Nude Night Tampa, Nude Art LA. Um, some of those kinds of shows. My dad was teaching a figure painting class in one of the small towns here and he had a nude model and I had just turned 18 so he let me come to the class and that was my very first experience and uh, the lady was probably in her 30s, I don't know, she was older, but she decided that this young kid was going to get the show of his life. So she just, whoo, wide spread eagle right at me. And I was just getting, you know, I was getting everything ready. And I looked up and I was like, okay, here we are, we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh, but then I just studied it in college, so. After college, it's, it gets kind of normal. A lot of my references come from photographers that I've contacted and got permission to use their images and sometimes the models will send me uh, but I I try to do everything where I've got permission and, and then I don't worry about what's going on and if I'm okay to show this in a certain place or whatever it just makes life easier for me mixing a bunch of colors together will look like so I don't have to experiment too much, but that just comes with practice, I think. 